I have this need to be reminded that, that the world is a much bigger and much stranger place than the one that I'm necessarily comfortable with. The thought of yeah, lying in bed and thinking about a waterfall underground rolling and rolling and rolling used to keep me awake at night. It still does sometimes. And these great, huge, hard caves are very good at reminding me of that. That there are forces way outside my control underground and they create these huge spaces One of the reasons I got into photography underground is it's the only way you can see what's there. When you're in a big room, your headlamp that's on your head lights up about this far in front of you. You, you can't see the ceiling, you can't see the walls, all you see is the ground in front of you. When I'm underground and I start to put a picture together and I put the camera in the right place and I get my people out with the lights in the right place and there's this moment, I open the camera up, boom, the lights go off. They go off really fast, so you can't see them with your eyeball. The image comes up on the back of the screen of the camera. The cameras have got big screens now, and I look at it and go, wow, that's it. And you know, I see this picture, and what I want to do is jump up and down and scream and go, yeah! But if you start yelling underground like that, the, your assistants who are like half a mile away won't hear it right. They'll think you're hurt, and they'll leave and come back. And what they need to do is to stay there and, and set off more lights. A good image operates on many different levels. Primarily, it operates on a purely unconscious one. You look at an image and you have an re emotional response to it, and that response is not governed by your thought process. The goal of the picture is to make you feel something. It's to make you feel something about the experience that the photographer was having at the time whether it's fear, or whether it's awe, or whether it's fear and awe, or, or, or just wonder. For 15 years, I've been working on this vast underground project with the idea that eventually it would be a book. We chose to name the project Earth From Below so that people would know that this is what is just right underneath them. Making these pictures, one of the points I'm trying to get across is th there's a whole world and largely you don't know about it. And whether it's beneath your feet is in these caves or outside your front door or in your neighbor's backyard, learn about your world because it's far weirder and more beautiful and stranger and more exciting than you probably realize.